Bradley Beal is the odds on favorite at plus 275. Would he be your pick as things stand right now? I think he's the safest pick. I mean, he's the only guy uh, of the the true available options, you know, who's back to back 30 plus points in each of the last two seasons. So it makes sense that he's the leader here at plus 275. Obviously, you're removing Russell Westbrook, an extremely high usage player from that roster. And Beal was still able to average 30 a game uh, playing alongside Westbrook last season. So, you know, you brought in some kind of some parts, you know, to replace Westbrook, but nobody who's going to come in and, and have that kind of usage rate. So on paper, Bradley Beal makes a ton of sense at plus 275. You know, I think you have to consider Luca at plus 425. Um, got off to a slow start last season that kind of put him behind the eight ball. But over the second half of the season, he was scoring as well as anybody. Obviously, that was on display in the Olympics. It was on display in the first round of the playoffs as well. I also don't think you could quite discount Steph Curry. And I understand, you know, he led the league in scoring last year. I get why he's down at 6-1. to one. You have Clay Thompson coming back. The Warriors should be a little bit more of a balanced team. But he's won an MVP. He's won a scoring title with a fully healthy Clay Thompson, with a fully healthy Draymond Green. We've seen him average 30 a game before in those circumstances. I wouldn't necessarily bet on it now. You know, he's in a little bit of a different phase of his career. That was back in 2015-16, the 73-win season. But I'm not totally counting out Steph Curry. All right, Kenny, we're talking 31.3 points per game from Beal. That was a career high for him. And now he no longer has Westbrook there. So would you believe he could be the, uh, you agree with the odds on favorite here, plus 275, going to be a scoring leader? I do. Uh, I think that this Wizards team is going to be really good. You know, and you look at Spencer Dinwiddie coming in, helping Bradley Beal perhaps get some space, Kyle Kuzma as well. Um, and then perhaps a step forward for Achimura. I think that this was a team that, you know, we saw make a lot of strides last year, aside from Russell Westbrook. Of course, he padded his stats, but there was there were plenty of, of good stories here. Uh, Bertans as well, a guy that uh, is just going to make life easier, uh, you know, take some attention away from Bradley Beal. And the fact of the matter is he is going to be able to take pretty much any shot he wants. This is his team now. So, I, you know, you, you do like those odds. But, uh, you know, as Nick mentioned, I, I think that Steph Curry at, at plus 600 is still a pretty good bet. I'm a little weary of that, though, but the value is certainly there. Uh, I, I mean, I would even look as far down as plus $3,500 or plus $3,500 uh, that you got Devin Booker, um, who, you know, 13th in points per game last year and uh, was up there seventh in total points. I mean, you know, perhaps this is a season where he takes even another step forward. He just continues to get better and better every year. We saw in the postseason this year what type of scoring outputs he's capable of. Uh, the inconsistency is obviously the concern there, but. I mean, I think that that's a really, really good value for a guy that's clearly the leading scorer on his team. And perhaps even this year, Chris Paul takes a little bit of a step back, which would be ridiculous for a guy making, what is it, $40 million? But hey, I mean, maybe he doesn't take, doesn't take as many shots. Maybe Devin Booker gets a few more field goal attempts per game. And, uh, and then you get him at a really, really good price to win the scoring title. I wouldn't hate that. 